I'm Ann Mahaffey, and I'm an Applications Engineer working on web tools here at Analog Devices. And in this video, I'm going to discuss um, what's going on when we've got our SAR ADC and our RC filter in our driver and we're seeing ringing um, and, and some things that we can do to correct that. Um, before I get into this topic, I would say some required watching is um, Stability 101. That's a video series by Matt Duff. Um, specifically, I believe it's the fourth video in the series is called Driving a Capacitive Load. And that's really gonna set us up um, for what we need to understand to, to discuss this. And there's really no reason for me to um, rehash it. Matt does a very good job with this topic. Um, so at the end of that video, um, this is what he's got on the board for the most part. So I'm just gonna kind of continue um, from, from where he left off. So you've got this, I've, I've renamed some things to fit with our, um, with our discussions, uh, but we've got this driver with the output impedance and we've got this RC filter that is um, what you're not seeing here, but is going into the ADC. And it's essentially, as far as this um, feedback loop is going, um, this is our, our feedback circuit here, which determines a, a pull and a zero in our um, loop gain plot here. And so a couple things to notice is th this is a scenario where it looks like everything's probably gonna be stable and there's, and there's not any ringing. So we've got our 90 degree phase shift and then we're, we're transitioning into a 180 degree phase shift but then this zero is pulling everything back up to 90 before we get to this zero db crossing um so let's say um so this would be an example for if we had a device where maybe the gain bandwidth was was quite large, and so it was pushing it was pushing all this out. Um, so so let's say you picked a device that had a, a smaller gain bandwidth. So let's say that it looked more like this. Then essentially, what you'd see is this plot would you know assuming everything else is somewhat similar um it would it would shift this plot to look more like you know maybe more like this where our um zero db crossing might occur here instead and in this case this is a case where you're going to see a lot of ringing um, it may or may not be stable um, you might have instability um, it might be that it's stable but you still might have quite a bit of ringing um, and, and in our case where we're driving an ADC that is something we don't want so you can pretty easily see that you know one way to deal with ringing is just to make sure that you've got a device that has sufficient gain bandwidth so that you're not in this situation so that your pole and your zero are a good distance away from the zero db crossing that's one thing um, another thing is uh, if you've selected a part that looks more like this um, something you can do uh, depending on your situation is you can try to increase this resistor value so if you recre increase the value of this uh, resistor and then to keep the same bandwidth you'd want to reduce the size of this but if you do that what you end up doing is you pull your pole and your zero together. And this is, so essentially what we're doing is isolating the driver from the ADC, but in the terms of this plot, you'd actually, you might have your pole and your, or you will have your pole and your zero much closer together. And in that case, you might be able to get away with um, having that, that phase returning back up to 90 degrees before you've, you've hit the zero dB crossing. Um, so again, I, I think a tool like LT Spice or like the Precision ADC driver tool is a really good way to look at this. There's no need to plot all this out um, to determine uh, you know, your design uh, requirements, but it's helpful to understand or to, to visualize in, in terms like this, what's going on so that you understand um, how to fix it. Um, so I, I hope this was helpful for understanding, at least understanding what's going on with ringing and, and maybe a couple of ways um, to reduce it.